Alrighty, today I'm going to be talking about kind of a hidden gem in the gun cleaning and gun industry, um, and that is this. Ezox. Stuff is absolutely amazing. I love it. I've switched over to it exclusively, basically, for all my firearms. ARs, shotguns, you know, pocket pistols, whatever. I used to use the, you know, Break Free CLP for quite some time now, but I've been using this for over a year, and I absolutely love it. It smells great. And I'll kind of go through the little value points of, of using Ezox for your gun cleaning needs. Um, basically, it's a synthetic product, and um, it's completely harmless to the powders and your primers of your, of your ammo. Um, and what I really like about it is it a, it's a dry lube. And so you apply it to your guns, you let it sit, and then you, you wipe off any excess, and then it's just it's there invisibly. It's not going to collect any dust. It's not going to collect any residue whatsoever and you know it so it's just it's there protecting your firearms without you having to, to deal with the sloppy mess of it basically after you after you use it um what i really enjoy too and, and today i have my ruger lcp this is a pistol that i put in my pocket and um you know it collects a lot of pocket lint a lot of you know just debris and, and whatever and using Ezox though really helps quite a bit because it, it's not attracting all that material into the, the mechanisms of the gun like any other conventional gun cleaning uh, lubricant would. And so that's why I, I really enjoy it. And the first um, part, uh, I noticed actually on, on YouTube that there's not a lot of good descriptions of how to use Ezox, so this is how I do it. The very first thing that I do is, well obviously, disassemble the firearm. And then I use a, a non-chlorinated brake cleaner um, just to degrease the parts. Anything will really work. Um, what's the one out there? The, you know, the green degreaser spray, that probably would work as well. Um, and so, yeah, you need to totally degrease the, your parts from all the other gun cleaning stuff that you've ever used, from any oils and, and anything like that. And then what you want to do... I'll show you probably here on my, my barrel, for instance. I got the spray one. I probably will never get the spray one again. They have other ones like little oil cans that are a lot better. I just think the spray one goes a little bit too far. I think you waste a lot of it. I put it on a patch like this, and what you'd want to do, you can apply it to all parts of your gun. I wouldn't necessarily put it on the plastics, obviously, but all the metal parts of your gun. Get it every every little crevice. I'd even work it in there maybe with a small Q-tip or something like that. And basically what you want to do, hit your entire gun, all the metal parts, springs inside the magazine especially. I mean, it, it works with fixing a lot of the magazine problems that I've had too. Okay, so here's now I clean the barrels inside. Just put it on a little jag like that. Just run it through. And again, you just want to get a nice layer inside and then you just let it sit. You want to let this sit overnight and just completely dry. Okay? So let's do that and then we'll come back tomorrow. Okay, so we're back. We let everything dry overnight and one thing I failed to mention is that this is very safe, even with the, the polymers or plastic frames of our pistols. I've gotten this actually all over my camera that I'm recording with right now, and it's, it hasn't done anything, and it's never done anything to anything I've ever to put it on. Um, so basically what we do is you want to take your parts, and you just want to lightly wipe down, you know, just to see if there's any excess. And there's really, you know, if you just put just a light coat on, which you should, there really won't be a whole lot. Maybe some stuff will come up, but just give it a, a wipe down everything. I like to put a, one more patch down the barrel. Yeah, see, what it does is it soaks into the to the metal, and it becomes basically you know just right on top of the metal, and it is slicker than snot too. That's why your magazines are you know that's one of the 
my best recommendations is is use it for your inside your magazines. It really does help a lot of feeding issues. Okay, so here's the gun all reassembled. And it's completely dry, but I know that everything is being protected right now from, you know, if it's body sweat, if you're a law enforcement officer and the gun's on your hip, um, humidity, anything like that. The more that you clean with Ezox, the easier it becomes as well. The cleaning that I demonstrated today was something that I do, you know, very seldomly. Um, if you just clean your gun just like you, you would if you came home from the range, you know, you don't have to break down every little part and let it dry overnight, but you can just use Ezox as a, you know, just a kind of like the CLP that you're probably used to, and that's perfectly okay. I just like to let it sit into the gun and get deep into the metal, you know, letting it sit overnight. And so, yeah, definitely recommend Ezox. You need to pick it up and try it.